Valentine's Day, a time when people show that someone special just how much they mean to them. Today, a local congressman spread a little love. John Shimkus stopped by the Mattoon Veterans Clinic with a basket full of Valentine's cards. Newswatch's Margaret Langevin spoke with some of those veterans who say the gesture really brightened their day. Yeah, he look what he got. He, got, what he got. He got a Valentine. Valentine's from the kids. From the kids. Well, Shimkus says it's important to give out these Valentines to the veterans on holidays where they may not be thought of as much. He says it's necessary the younger generation understands the important role they play in our country. These kids are being taught to their sacrifice and then obviously producing a product to, uh, to express their thanks. Uh, again, I think it goes to the heart of their not being forgotten. Not only did Congressman Shimkus think this was a special gesture, so did the veterans. Uh, Lots of love. Thanks again, Katie. Oh. Oh, no. This first time I've ever had anything like this from the children. And these children, they, they thought enough to give us veterans a card like this. And I know all the veterans is going to appreciate every bit of this. But it's those who made the cards giving veterans all the thanks and praise. Veterans say it's a gesture that protecting our country from harm that truly touched their hearts. Oh, it makes me feel really nice, I'll tell you, because I've never had it. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that they're really seeing us veterans as we were and are and what we've done for everybody through the years, you know, each and every veteran has done their share. And I appreciate it. And these kids will too. When we asked Buell if he had anything else he wanted to say, he said this. Just keep up the good work, kids, and I, uh, I love each and every one of you. In Mattoon, I'm Margaret Langevin for WEIU Newswatch. Shimkus made visits to Paris, Mattoon, and Effingham today. He says thousands of Valentines have been given to veterans in the region. School classes, church youth groups, homeschoolers, and individuals have all helped with the program.